The newest Bachelor on the hit reality show, find, uh, The Bachelor, finds himself in the spotlight this morning for all of the wrong reasons. Yeah, his controversial comments about gays are coming under fire, and now he's taken to Facebook to explain himself. ABC's Gio Benitez has the story. At 32 years old, Juan Pablo Galavis has the opportunity so many men dream of, finding his match on ABC's The Bachelor. A former professional soccer player, the first Latino bachelor. But now, his comments to a reporter Friday night are under fire. Listen. Do you think it would be a good idea at some point to have a gay or bisexual bachelor? No. Why not? Just because I respect them, but uh, honestly, I don't think it's a good example for kids to watch that on TV. And just seconds later, using the word pervert while talking about the possibility of an all-gay version of The Bachelor. And there's this thing about gay people that uh, it seems to me, you know, I don't know if I'm mistaken or not, I met great, you know, I have a lot of friends like that, but they're more pervert in a sense. And to me, the show will be too, too strong, too hard. To watch on TV. All you have to do is watch the news and see what kind of trouble people get in for homophobic comments, and you should be smart enough to ignore it. ABC and the production company Warner Horizon responding with this statement. Juan Pablo's comments were careless, thoughtless, and insensitive, and in no way reflect the views of the network, the show's producers, or studio. Hi, girls. <laughs> Juan Pablo turned to Facebook to apologize himself, writing, the word pervert was not what I meant to say, and I am very sorry about it. Everyone knows English is my second language, and sometimes I use the wrong words to express myself. What I meant to say was that gay people are more affectionate and intense, and for a segment of the TV audience, this would be too racy to accept. And overnight, the group GLAD said Juan Pablo called leaders there to say gay and bisexual parents are good parents and that he wants gay youth to know that it is fine to be who they are. He'll meet with GLAD, by the way, this week in L.A., guys. Certainly not the headlines the show wanted to create, though. That's All right, right, Gio, thank you. Thanks, Gio.